Hey guys, welcome to the gaming gym. Oh, yeah! Hello to all you crazy people out there. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sword with your host here, Rotag065. Um, last episode we left off, we battled the... Acknowledge your strength, please judge me in this contest of strength and wits. We battled the... I'll call, her, call him the punk rock gym leader. And yeah, also I went like that entire episode calling him or her. Because, you know, I couldn't really tell. I am... Kind of surprised I couldn't tell. I was initially confused though. Something told me that it's like a guy. I'm mean, like, it looks like a girl though. It doesn't guy right. It's hard to tell. Anywho, but yeah, that's where we left our last and our rival marine. Um kind of sent us on our way, and then we ran into Leon, who wants us to Well, he wants us to stay out of the way while he goes does the thing, but you know, if the game lets us, I'm not doing that. I'm doing the complete opposite. So Hop wants us to go help out, and that's where we're going off to now, chasing up to Hop. Kind of makes you wonder why all these trainers are bothering us. Hop can run by and they not bother him, but you know, whatever. Also, in regards to my intro, if anyone paid attention, it changed a little bit again. I decided to go ahead and use the full, like, just, there was an extra two seconds in my intro I was already editing out, because I was going to use it for my introduction video for the um opening of my channel but i decided to just go ahead and do use it as the actual opening for all my videos too and i'm not sure what i'm gonna do for my opening introdu introduction video for my channel yet i made something i just haven't uploaded it yet because it's like a minute long i'm not sure if that's a good opening video or not i mean it might be you don't want something that's super long oh, yeah he's a five type i completely forgot The reason I slash did that much was because of the defense lowering. Probably could have one shot him with the side. The bad thing is I caught that, so it, I'm pretty sure the game told me that it wasn't very effective and I just didn't pay attention. Oh look, double edge. Hmm, I did say if I was to get that move, I would use it. Taunt would go well with obstruct. Taunt and obstruct are like Harmonious, I have to keep them. But if I get double edge, I have to get rid of the side, which the side goes well with this ability guts, which does more damage than double edge and doesn't have a recoil. But that's only if I'm burned or something, so you know. We have to go without double edge. As powerful of as a move as it is. I guess the recoil wouldn't you learn leaf plate? That makes sense. I just didn't expect it. Hmm. I like knockoff. We'll go without the tech, I guess. But I want to keep sword dance. Although, are you fast? You're really not. And plus, you have crits. So you never really get to use sword dance. So we'll go without that. Little teapot. I think it's a pure ghost type. I'm not 100% sure on that though. Good job, Yoshi. I ain't forgot your nickname. I need to do some more off camera stuff. Typically, I have been, well, last week I did anyway. I went through and made sure I collected berries from the wild area every day. Then I just kind of stopped. I don't really care about your temp right now. 
Oh yeah, we're back here where Team Yale stopped us from going. Okay. I guess that was a good place to stop in last episode. So we should be back in Hammerlock. I'm not sure if we have to battle the gym first or find Leon. I think this is the only picture where Yoshi isn't ha doesn't have his arms crossed. It looks more... I'm not sure what the word is. He looks better that way. I'm just say that. I had a word and it just escaped my mind immediately. All oh, these are TMs. I have a lot of Poke Dollars. I didn't even notice that. I kind of want these fangs. I don't really care for terrain. Hmm. We'll come back maybe later. I don't think I have anybody that can use the fang moves. Maybe Yoshi can? Maybe? I didn't actually think we would get stopped. Over here! Well, if it isn't Throtag. I'd expect nothing less from you and your Charizard, Leon. You took down that Dynamax Pokemon in no time at all. Well, I am unbeatable champion after all. But what is all going on here? An overflowing red light. Pokemon Dynamaxing without a power stop? Yeah, but why? I'm not sure. What's going on? The red light could suddenly appear again at any time and we'd have no way of knowing. Magnolia? But being able to predict such things is part of a scientist's work. Gran? The chairman called for me. He wanted to know all about the red lights. Relationship to the Dynamax phenomenon. Did the chairman know anything? Nothing worth my time. The chairman's all wrapped up in fretting over the furniture and the future of energy, apparently. He's left everything to the executive lady. We just don't have enough data. That's why I wanted to ask you to sort look to start looking into things too, Sonia. You know more than anyone about the darkest day after all. Are you saying the red light and darkest day are connected? Hey, do you reckon there's anything we can do to help out? I mean, can I say no? Just give me the option, that's all I want is I won't say no, I just want the option to say no. That's all. <sighs> okay. I like a game with choices. So many choices. Thanks, I appreciate the thought. But all I could ever ask of you would... Look. But all I could ask for you to do is blah blah blah. But all I could ever ask of you would... That you join me in the greatest final match ever. Ask of you would be that you. There's too many you's in there and my mind just... I'll do my part to make that happen by keeping everyone's future safe. So you just keep on doing your part by winning your way through the gym challenge. Right, of course. You're the unbeatable champion after all, eh? Grand, there's something I want to look into. You'll help me, right? Naturally. Looks like we all know what we need to do. So you too, clear the gym challenge so we can meet again at the champion cup. I know what I need to do, all right? Defeat the Piers. Defeat that Piers once and for all. You're off to Hammerlock Stadium, yeah, Rotec? Right hand's a tough nut to crack. Right hand. So he's going back against the gym that he lost to. And we're doing our thing here. Hey, this is the final gym. Yeah, I got that. It would be nice to at least see parts of the story. Even if I don't battle, just let me witness it. A little ball guy. A level ball is perfect for high level teams. The higher level Pokemon is compared to the opposing yard to talk to you. I didn't know I could talk to him early. 
Hmm. What are these kids, man? I can't wait. Raheem's match is coming up. How do y'all know that? How does anyone know that? It's not like these things are scheduled. I just show up when I'm ready. And just know how the. Uh, I'm overcomplicating this, but it's the small things, just the small details, you know? Where am I going? What was behind him? If I'm walking back to go to the gym, then what was in front of me? This game confuses me. I'm very confused. Oh, okay. I probably should have read the dialogue then. Let's see how many gym challenges are left. Huh? Not even 10, eh? All right then. Real tech, time to explain the great right hand gym mission. The rules are simple. All you've got to do is defeat three gym trainers and I personally trained, that I personally trained, in double battles. The gym challenge is meant to be, well, challenging, wouldn't you say? Naturally, there aren't too many gym challengers who can make it this far. And that's why I provide a format where you can really show off your brilliant combinations of your Pokemon you should be capable of, of you and your Pokemon. There's probably more than enough out of me. It's time for someone else to take the spotlight. Come on, Sebastian. You'll be first. To be fair, you picked the worst format to try and test me on. That's me, Sebastian. Leader right hand has taught me two things. First, dragon types are fiercely powerful. Second, I need to create an advantage on battlefield to fully utilize that power. How are we battling in a small room? I mean, it makes sense in the anime. You can battle pretty much anywhere. But here, with double battles, not so much. Pokemon are just so happy. Hey, look, a drizzle. I was thinking about catching a drizzle Pelipper, but I was like, I will never use it, so I don't really care. Let's see. Let's use it on the Slagoon. We should only have good special defense, so the side should be fine. Pelipper is a low level, so our drum beating should be enough. All according to Kate. This is probably the first and only episode where I jump right into battling. Usually, every other, I think every other episode I usually start out at the start of a route. Doubles, there's a lot to think about with them. It makes it difficult, but fun too. I usually always start off at the start of a route, at the end of a route, or start of a route. Usually the start of a route. So then I go in and have to fight a, fight a bunch of trainers and get through the paths and battle a bunch of wild Pokemon. Catch some Pokemon. It's just, it's time consuming. And then usually the end of the episode is when I reach somebody. Oh, I just start. I guess that means I can change my team around if I want to. If I want to. I could use this guy. I kind of want to. If they're using dragon types, he won't help too much because grass. Hmm. Of course, Pelipper wasn't a dragon type. What moves do you have anyway? Superpower, I don't know what Topsy Turvy does. All stat changes affecting the target turn Topsy Turvy and become the opposite of what they were. Nice. So if you try to lower his stats, he can flip it around. That is nice. That means superpower can make him stronger. Interesting. To use superpower probably one or two times, flip it. Then those stat losses become a stat gain, and then you can just rinse and repeat. That means you can use it at least four more times before, you know, you want to use it again. But by then, you will run out of PP for it. If you PP up, then I think the max is eight. Yeah, rinse and repeat. I don't know what this one does. Usually locks the target in and prevents it from fleeing. This move also lowers the target's defense and special defense every turn. Oh, snap. So he would be great against stallers. This guy's a, a wall breaker. Does that mean he's slow? Yeah, he's pretty slow. That's typically what they do with wall breakers. So he is a wall breaker's nightmare. 
He can stay in on you for a good while. And he can't be paralyzed. I like him. But he also wouldn't work for double battles right here. Let's use Bolt. I suppose. Suppose he knows Wild Charge. I could use Snow. Hmm. We'll keep using Bolt. Bolt needs to level up a little more. In double battles, it's important to figure out what role your opponent is in place. Pokemon has to play. Something. Hmm. Well, perfect time for me to switch out Echo there. But also, these are not dragons. I mean, maybe the fire thing over there is? I don't think he is. Is he a dragon fire type? I don't remember. I thought he was a rock fire. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't remember. I'm going to use this on nine tails. I'm going to take this guy out with a wild charge. I don't know where is that. Set a shell trap. How many Pokemon have a defensive protect? Hmm. Does he do that every time he gets hit? Also, not very effective. What does that? What does that make him? He's not a fire electric, is he? Also, why didn't you burn obstacle again? That would have been perfect. Let me stop him from using shell trap anymore. And I guess I'll take out nine tails. I wanted to wait for uh, what you call it, but a will o' wisp. I don't feel like getting burned. Yeah, he's using it again. Of course, he did. I forgot burn was a thing. And then I stuff all those shell traps. You just really don't like my um, bolt. So is shell trap an attack or this is actually like a protect? Because he got hit. I'm confused. What does shell trap do? I have I don't think I've never caught him, so I don't even know what he does. Taunt works, so it must be a defensive move. Or he just didn't feel like using Shell Trap again. I thought I was going after Bolt. He went after Yoshi. Hang in there. You're almost done. It's probably the hardest battle I have in this game. Nope, Shell Trap is not affected by Taunt. So what is that? If my laptop wasn't so far away, I would look it up. I can use my phone. You made us at a third and last trainer. Your moment is shine, Aria. Now let's switch out Bolt. He got quite the thrashing. We'll use, I suppose we'll use Midnight. Do you combine the strength of two Pokemon to push through or do you have one of them support the other? Let me see what your strategy is. Most people typically have a support and then a DPS type of Pokemon combination. Typically. It's amazing how each time I switch my Pokemon, they work out for whatever I need them to. First time I left it alone, Echo was perfect against the Pelipper. Or at least the best of my team. Well, Bolt would actually would have been the best. The second time I switched out Echo and get, went against Fire types, and you know that worked out. Now I have a Steel type in that can go against the Ice over there and resistant to Dragon. So you know, 
It's perfect all around. Perfect all around. I'm not sure if they're going to actually hit me or not. I don't think I can one-shot them, so I'll just do that. Ice. Should I go with Drill Pick or Steel Wing? Which one is stronger? Drill Pick. Okay, the move Shell Trap. Shell Trap is a decreased priority move. The user sets up a trap at the beginning of the turn. Then if it gets hit by an opponent's physical move within the same turn, it will use Shell Trap immediately after that move. Otherwise, when the user's scheduled turn happens at negative 3 priority, Shell Trap will fail at that time. If the user is affected by Powder, Powder will trigger when using the shell trap is hit by a physical attack. Shell trap is not triggered when the Pokemon being hit by an ally's move. Having a substitute take a hit being hit by a move receiving bonus from sheer force and after it's two turns have already passed, such as by Dragon Tail, or another move with lower priority than negative three, or being hit by a move that causes it to faint. Those are all the things that cause it to fail. Let's use Facade. Oh, and... A turtle was a fire dragon. Okay. That's why electric didn't do much. It didn't look like a dragon. Nice one, Rotec. You've completed my gym mission. Come on. Time to head to the gym stadium. You've earned the right to face me yourself. So his power is, is a special type move with a power of 150. Oh, let me move forward. Hmm. So it's a powerful move, but it only works if you get hit by a physical move. Which I'm assuming this turtle has great defense. Finally, a challenger made it. I've been waiting for someone to battle. But I've got to admit, I didn't think it'd be you. But I guess I should have expected no less from a Pokemon trainer that Leon saw a promise in. And you aim to defeat Leon. Do you have any idea just how high a hurdle that is? As his greatest rival, I guess that I, Raihan, will have to show you. Gym leader Raihan doesn't simply control the weather. He also seeks two-on-two -two battles. You must be prepared for any situation against a foe like him. Is he talking in third person? He's talking in third person. Well, aren't you just fabulous? Nice dragon pose, though. Hmm. Yeah, his EV spreads are two EV points, so yeah, I'm pretty sure he's good at defense. There it is. That is actually his highest stat. So he's more of a defense type. He just stayed to suck up defense card physical hits. Let the winds blow. Stream forward. Sandstorm. Not a choice for a dragon trainer. But you do. You. Yeah, you can go after the flag on here. And then you, you kill the little, well you won't kill him, but you'll do some decent damage. I don't know where is it? I think my phone just showed me a Pokemon vis visual novel. My experience with visual novels tells me I shouldn't look it up. Super effective. Makes it a fighting type move, right? 
what hit me. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy thinking about visual novels. This guy's definitely fierce. I like it. Can you change your trainer's pose like that? Probably not. I would totally go for that pose. Then again, it wouldn't fit me. It just looks awesome. That's the only reason I want it. I guess we have to Gigantamax now, or Dynamax. We don't have a Gigantamax Pokemon. Actually, Echo should be able to Gigantamax. I've never di um, Gigantamax him yet. I assume. It's not Dynamax, right? It's actually Gigantamax? Or is it because I haven't gotten the Crown Tundra update that I can't do it? I should test that. Plus, my Stagoon can't really do much here. I'm going to try. I'm going to at least try to obstruct lower defense. I don't know if they'll physically hit me. I think the dragon over there specializes in special attack. I'm not entirely sure. Now let me keep um, Midnight in. Bring the storm. My partner would send everyone in the stadium flock. I'm guessing the dragon. I've already fought one of him, so... Steel Dragon. Which actually means I should have switched out Midnight. But I kind of figure Optigoon would get targeted and you can't deflect a Dynamax move, so. The Struck won't do much. Even more so if it's a special move. Max up. Hmm. Really good. Only for real to protect itself. I thought it would at least still lower his defense. You can shake that off right at midnight. Maybe. You should be able to. You're not going to shake it off, are you? Let's see if you can Dynamax. I mean Gigantamax. He has Dynamax. I don't know if... Who's super effective against? I guess the Sand Dial thing. Three turns, crash the terrain for five turns. So both of these make you crash the terrain. Hmm. Let's go with you. You already knew that. We can't really hurt him with our birdie here, but we'll try. Let's use Brave Bird because it's yellow. Let's see how you look. Are you Dynamax or Gigantamax? Like I said, I'm assuming since I don't have the update, he's just going to be... Yeah, he's just Dynamax. That's so unfortunate. I really got to get the update. That's the only reason I'm trying to finish this game so quickly. Did it really pause this animation? I'm definitely going to get the update. They fixed so much with this game. Dynamax is still affected by it. And there you go, you broke out of paralysis. And grass the terrain is helping him, but it also knocks it off for me too. So, what is Max Strike I think it increases speed, right? Normal type attack that lowers the target speed. Okay. The only one we can use is this. It's the only thing that's neutral. So you can just use Steel Wing.
I was hoping to get a defense boost. Let's do it. Time for our G Max depletion. The Dragon's World will cut through it. Or cut through something. I couldn't read it fast enough. But I usually don't do a voice for these things because they're too quick. I don't read that fast. The PP was used. I kind of wish Grass Train didn't benefit you. Oh, sucks to be you. Hi, Dynamax one turn after you. Goodbye. Overkill. Complete devastation. Fatality. You win. I can't even say flawless victory though. I lost obstacle in there. My poor Yoshi. I think that's the first time he's fainted. Aren't you just too cool for school? I might have lost. But I still look good. Maybe I should take a snap a quick selfie. I really like you. Definitely one of the most personality type gym leaders. Him and the singer have a lot of personality. In the aftermath of a furious battle, I feel as pure and refreshed as the sky when the, as when the sky calms after a storm. I can't read today. What can I possibly say? Calling myself Leon's rival? Seems I've grown quite concited for someone who can't even claim the title of champion. Overconfident in both myself and my team. I'll give you what you want then. The proof of your victory. The Dragon Badge. The biggest bat, is it? No, looks like the fire might be a little bigger. You can now catch Pokemon of any level. So it jumps from 50 to 100. Why? You've collected all the gym badges from the Gala region. Now win your way through the semifinals and, and finals for your chance to challenge Leon. You must. You owe us that much, at least, for beating us in the battle here today. I was very confused about that. When I beat the last gem, it's like you can now catch level 50 or 55, whichever one it was. I'm like, that's still super low. There are Pokemon in higher levels than that. You collect all the badges, at least it's time for the Champion Cup. I look forward to seeing how you all do in battle. Hey, Rotag. I wasn't expecting any more talking. Sorry to hold you up. Well, at least you apologize. But there was something I forgot. First off, a sign of my respect. Here, TM99. It contains the move breaking swipe. A dragon type physical move, I'm assuming. I've heard it, I just don't remember what it is. It swings its tough tail wildly and attacks opposing Pokemon and lowers their attack stat. And secondly, here's the dragon type gym uniform the mark of true strength. I would use it, but again, I can't change my uniform. Number 006 Challenger Rotate. You've completed the gym challenge. Good, good on you, kid. Now, Prove your strength to the whole region in the Champion Cup. Raihan, I'm here to see just how good you are. There you are, Leon's little brother. Don't worry, I'll give you the battle that you'll give you a battle that make you want to quit the gym challenge altogether. I like you. I've tried out lots of different strategies, and I've made up my mind about how I want to battle. I'm not gonna lose. I'm gonna beat you and Rotag and even Lee. I'll be seeing you, Rotac. Let's have another epic battle someday. If you're feeling up to it, you might want to go train hard in the wild area. I don't even remember what I was about to say. Oh yeah, I was confused about the um, Pokemon catching thing. It seemed like the level was super low. But now that I got the last one, I see they kind of cut that in half, which makes zero sense to me. Hey there, Rotac. You gave Raihan a good thrashing, and that means you've completed the gym challenge. Congratulations! From the bottom of my heart. I really wish we could have celebrate, but I think there's some some things we should talk over. Sure. That light that covered Hammerlock. It was just like the darkest day, where it said that giant giant Pokemon went on a rampage and almost destroyed the entire Galar region. It certainly seems to be that way, my dear. As you know. We Dynamax our Pokemon today using the energy from wishing stars that have fallen to us. 
but we still don't know how to fully control the energy behind the Dynamax scene and how the two heroes managed to do so. In fact, we're not even really sure who or what the two heroes actually were. The legendary sword and shield. Sonia, my dearest, my lap coat is yours now. Are you sure, Gran? I still haven't finished the work you've assigned me. Think of this as something to help you finish that work. Professional. <laughs> oh, I thought they said professional, Sonia. I was about to say. Well, I just nabbed that perfectly, but now nah, they said professor, so. I'll stick with it, though. Plus the thing. Y yeah! The two heroes that protect the Gala region from the darkest day. And the legend of the sword and shield you just mentioned. It's up to you to figure out the truth behind it all. I know, Grant. I'll do what I can. You or Hop could be the one to take down Leon. And I don't want to miss that. Not to worry. You can count on me to take care of everything. You just focus on getting to Winden. Go on. Head to the station. Are you miss your train? You did it. You got the dragon badge. I guess you're watching my fight. Otherwise, there's no way you would know that. Next next is Winden. Time for the big event. I'm guessing Winden is the place we started at, right? I'm assuming. I didn't want to pull out my bike. Still learning buttons. Like, 15 episodes in and still learning buttons. So this is Winden, I'm guessing? Nope, my toast. Okay. Is it nice that I can finally say his name? My toast, okay. When it took me literally forever to figure out. I haven't even said it in a while and I can still say it. I just kind of naturally said it instinctively. So that's nice. Here we go. No, that's not me. Who is it? Uh, Winden? Oh, we haven't been here yet. Winden is big. Wait, how come we haven't been to Winden? Route 10. Where is Winden? There's no path that connects to it. Oh, you have to ride the train to it. That's why I haven't been there. So wait, what was the middle place we started at? The one with the big stadium in the middle. We went there to start our challenge, right? It was somewhere here. It was Matostake, right? Yeah, it was Matostake. Who do we fight here? I can't remember. Jeez, I really can't remember who the gym leader was in Matostake. If there even was a gym leader. It was, right? That was the first place we started, and then they sent you off on your journey. So then the first one was the grass one, right? And then we went across and did the water. No, that was the third one, right? Oh, jeez. I'm going to have to look back on my episodes now. I don't remember. I'll just Google it. It'll take me a lot of skim through my episodes. Anyway. Um, we'll do the wild area off camera because I don't imagine it's entertaining just to watch me go and fight and battle a bunch of Pokemon. And at this point, I honestly don't even think I need to. Oh, yeah, I'll say my name. How nice. Yeah, I don't really think I need to. My level seems to be where I need it to be to actually battle everyone. So let's go and do a train thing. Or not. You literally just left. <sighs> Whatever. What up, Rotec? I'm coming too. I have right hand beat in no time. Oh, you don't say. Once I got my head on straight and stopped doubting every decision I made, that is. Ha! Well, y'all are both fast. And you never stopped nattering on through the entire battle. You're pretty different from the champion in that. But your strength is genuine, as proven by the Dragon Bash you won for me. You came at me with all the force of a raging storm, even and I was blown away. Listen up, you two. Battle your way through the Champion Cup tournament to face Leon. One of you ought to. I reckon I'm still the favorite to win, but I'm up against my true rival, Rotag. I'll still ring out every last thing I learned during my battle with you, Raihan, to beat him. So get a move on, Rotac. Train's waiting. I mean, I was about to, but you stopped me. Oh, 
Oh, that's good. It didn't give me a choice. I just walk over and the train takes me there. I'm assuming there's a new wild area, right? The new uh, the wild area just seemed a little small. I'm not assuming that's like only part of it. So maybe the other part of here is up here. We're finally headed to Wendy. There's a lot to check out there. It's a big tower on the in the mon monorail. In Wendy Stadium where the whole gallery you no know, the whole world is gonna be watching us. Smartphones. So nice. You get it right. You and me are gonna make out a great match that ever was. Again, voice acting would be really nice. Hello, Snower. I was, I was calling it Snow Run. I wonder what scenery would appear if all the snow on Route 10 melted away. Wait, there's snow here? Please, no. I hate snow. No! And trainers are already just there stalking the route. Because they apparently have no life other than doing exactly that. So, this is Route 10. It's like a wall made of snow. But there'll be ice Pokemon crawling out of the woodwork in a place like this. Come on, Rotac. Reckon we'll be able to train ourselves out of new heights here before the Champion Cup starts. I believe in myself and the Pokemon in my team. And I know we'll get loads stronger. So I'm off. See you in Winden, mate. Is that a... I thought that was a Squirtle. Is that a Squirtle? No, it's not a Squirtle. Hello, Mr. Mom. That was a bear, um, a bear thing. I already have one of you. But you're getting giving off energy, so I'll go ahead and do that. I caught it from the uh, raid battle. That's the reason I already have one. It's weird for Mr. Mom to know Sucker Punch. Is that something they naturally learn, or is that the Galarian, Galorian mind thing? No idea. I certainly don't know the ex move exclusiveness to each region. Might as well see what the exclamation mark is. Hey, it's the adorable Rhydon. I was wondering where I would see you. Shouldn't be able to KO you because defense. Yep. Very sturdy. Do you have rocket? You do indeed. I gotta be careful about critting it though. Well, didn't crit it. I had intended on making the ride done my. Thumbnail on the video he showed up, but eh, I forgot, and then I didn't care to change it. I could go back and change it. I should. He was so adorable. Most Pokemon are adorable to me, if you haven't noticed. Most. Most. That would suggest more than fifty percent. Say most. And only probably like 25% actually catch my attention. Many of you do not resist getting caught. Thank you. There we go. There's no Pokemon Center over here, is there? I don't think so. Nope. I see something back there, though. Oh, that's a train. I thought it was a building. I was like, there's no way to get a building over there. Ah, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Do you have any energy Pokemon? I'm a doctor. Why are you battling me? 